317. Um, this video, I'm currently driving in the Jimmy, going to uh, pick up some parts, um, hopefully, cross my fingers. Um, so I'm just going to kind of take you on the journey with me, um, and uh, I'll try to touch up base with you when I get close. I'm about an hour, 45 minutes away, so um, hopefully I'll get there shortly, and uh, we can uh, see if I can get it. So uh, hopefully you guys are having a had a good week, and uh, thank God that it's the weekend. It's uh, <laughs> been one of those weeks for me. So, uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna let you go, and I'll uh, touch base with you when I get the um, get to the site. I just was driving by, and I saw that all these trucks here were for sale. Thought I'd stop and just look at them. Nice power strip. So it has a CB in the radio in the truck there and looks like it's hit on this side. Dump bed. Frame doesn't look too bad. Looks like it's straight pipe. Bed's not too awful. Looks like it's 8500 bucks. 124,000 miles. Has a nine foot bed on it. Uh, comes with a western plow. Um, also, we'll say our old Ford truck. Pretty nice. Needs a front end, obviously. But uh, inside doesn't look too bad. So, we got those. Looks like there's some different wheels and tires for it. And you got this thing here. Looking at some other tires and wheels for it. Not too bad trucks. I don't know what the pricing is on them. So I'm gonna see a little bit more here. This side's all bashed up too. This side doesn't look too bad. So this truck doesn't have a for sale sign on it. Doesn't look like. Um, this one doesn't look too bad. You can see though that this trim's all messed up. This one they want thirty eight hundred bucks for. Has a 390 with a C6 trans, auto trans in it. And then this one also has a 390 in it, auto, runs and drives, camper special. Um, they want 2200 for it. This one's pretty rough. be a fun little prod or uh, shop truck but it has a uh, little storage here for tools and everything I'm sure that's rusted out the crap um, two-wheel drive um, yeah at least this one right here has some uh, different wheels and tires with it which is kind of nice they're pretty nice wheels and tires this one's really rusted here but uh yeah, I've been looking at selling my uh, the daily driver and getting something like this with a diesel. So, but anyways, I'll show you. Uh, I got the uh, the new uh, brush guard for the front. Um, as you saw in the last video, the other one didn't work. Um, it wasn't the right kind. So, there's my little son with me. But here's the uh, correct brush guard for an S10 Jimmy. Um, you can see that this is the correct mounting for it. So when I get home, I'm going to throw it on. Um, so shouldn't be too big of a deal. Just kind of sucks I have um, the wrong one. And I did figure out what it actually was. It was um, for a trailblazer. So it's the little bit bigger body style than this one. So I'm going to try to resell it. And um, the mounting, the different brackets I made just kind of obviously aren't going to work. So I guess I'm going to stop it here and um, I'll show you when I get home. 
So uh, we'll see you guys. Guys, okay, so just got home with the um, new brush card. So I'm going to slap it on here quick and I'll show you guys the end result. Okay guys, so there is the brush card all put together. Um, it sucks that these um, brackets don't need to be used and I'm going to try to sell the other brush card. Um, as you can see underneath here, this is the, if I can show you, this is the bracket that I was trying to make the other one, but it wasn't even close to uh, what I thought it needed to be. So you can kind of see that there's two brackets there and they basically um, attach where this goes. The two bolts that hold this one is what holds the, this bracket here on. So, um, and then also on the way home, I did get um, two lights that'll go in there. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'll show you, I might as well show you exactly what I got. Here's what I got. Um, so I got these and then in the mail, I got all the LED lights that I need for the interior. And then also, um, my wife just told me that um, the package for the wheel spacers came. So I'm going to try to throw all this stuff on here on the uh, the new wheel spacers and all that and uh, the new wheels and tires and uh, should be good to go. So I'm really excited to see what the difference is on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on and then I will um, see if I can get this on and then do the wheels and tires. So I'm going to do that and I'll touch base with you then. Guys, so I got the rear tires on here currently, um, and I was looking at them. I thought they were the same size as the stalkers right here, but they're actually um, basically a 31. They're 265, um, 75-15s, um, so they're a lot bigger than I thought. So um, I just test fitted um, the front one on here, and uh, I'm going to do have to, have to do a lot of trimming here, which kind of sucks, but um, I'm going to have to do cut this. Um, cut this little bit here and then do some trimming on the back side um, Which I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it's a beater car, so it doesn't really matter um, So I'm gonna mess with this a little bit and uh, I'm gonna get in everything ready to be able to cut this um, kind of do the same thing I did to um, my truck So I just kind of wanted to show you that um, so Working on that, and then there are two rear tires. Um, I think I should previously. I'm going to get two new ones um, for the rear. I'm still debating if I want to keep it this size. I was um, actually thinking about doing like a 255 70 15. So it's basically the same diameter as my the stalkers, except it's just a little bit wider. Um, I think that'll help it a little bit. So if I have a lot of issues, I'll probably try to look for a set of 255, 70, 15s. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to run these things for a while, I guess. Um, so just kind of wanted to do an update here. And then I'm also working at getting this stupid crap out here. And then I will install my lights and the interior LED lights. So just kind of wanted to give you guys an update here. And uh, I'll touch base with you when I get this front done. Hey guys, so I got this, the wheels installed, um, not too bad looking. I did crank the fronts um, one full turn, um, I'm not sure if they were cranked at all before, but um, I did crank them a little bit, um, so I think I raised it like a half an inch or so in the front, and then I did some uh, notch in here, I basically cut this down here with this, my grinder. And then I smashed this in, and then I smashed this over top of it, kind of sandwiched it a little bit. And uh, it seems to be clearing pretty good um, with what it is. Um, so, and then you can kind of see the brush guard on the front. Um, I still got to put the lights on, so I'm going to spin this thing around, and um, we'll do that. So, you know what, I'm going to take you guys along with me, and I'll just spin this thing around and see how bad this thing rub is rubbing. The next thing I need to do is uh, figure out this radio. I was going to go today to the junkyard until you pull it and see if I can get a new radio. But um, it, as you can see, it's been raining like crazy. So just haven't really had the time to do it. So we're going to test this way. Not too bad. So I apologize. If this is a bad video. I can't really see it right now. She rubs a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. Well, there you go. So there it is. It rubs still a little bit. So um, it seems like on the driver's side, it doesn't rub at all. And of course, I freaking get my the tire all muddy. Of course, I would do that. But uh, anyways, it looks like it doesn't rub on this side. Um, it's just the other side that rubs some. So, and I'm thinking, you can even see where it did. It rubbed it right there. So I might just have to take a hammer and smash that a little bit. I don't know, shoot, I forgot to cut this. So I just got to cut this piece here yet. And then I'm going to work on the, the headlights on the front. So I'm going to do that and I'll touch base with you when I get these mounted and just kind of show you what my plan is. Well guys, I got the lights all installed, um, the fog lights here, you can see and I got the brush guard on um, and the wheels and tires, I mean this thing just looks completely different, it looks so much nicer, it looks so, so much better, so um, just got a couple little odds and ends things to do on the interior, um, I still need to vacuum it, I mean it's really disgusting, I need to vacuum the thing, I did wipe it all down, but um, just need to vacuum it and uh, clean it up a little bit and uh it should be ready to go um still have a little bit of wiring i want to clean up here this wiring i want to get some wire loom and just kind of wrap all that stuff up and uh everything's good i did put the covers on here um this place around my area are kind of a pain in the butt they like to pull you over for any little stupid thing so um i just kind of covered that all up and it looks really good um and then the next thing i'm gonna have to do is get two new rear tires um this side right here is just about, is basically bald. The other side has some decent tread on it. The fronts aren't bad at all, um, but currently it is sitting on, literally I just raised the front up um, about an inch and a half. Um, basically no lift at all currently. Um, and it's on 31, 10, 5, 15s, or the metric version is 265, um, 75, 15s. Um, so I'm really pleased with it. Um, you can see, I'll show you here, it sits pretty good. It's going to need an alignment in the front. You can see that the, the, uh, I guess that can't, I guess that would be cambers off. Um, so it's definitely going to need an alignment. So, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, even the back tires you can see stick out a good bit. So, uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys, get you an up to speed on uh, everything I got done today so it was a very successful day so um, and then now I'm just kind of going through and trying to organize some stuff I've been throwing stuff around in my garage here you can see it is a freaking pigsty so I'm just trying to go through things and just kind of organize stuff and just clean things up and make it look at least half decent so currently I went out and got some um, organizers for all my ratchets um, so I'm just kind of going through here and just cleaning up my all my toolbox and stuff just kind of cleaning up everything and then I'm going to slowly work my way around and uh, hopefully get to everything and um, do you have did make two gates here and I still have my parents um, uh, kitchen table there that I have to give them so, just got a couple odds and ends things I got to do, and uh, shouldn't be too bad. So, I think I'm going to end it here. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your weekend, and I will um, touch base with you next week. Hey, guys. So, uh, it's the following morning. It's Monday morning. I'm just getting ready to work. Started the uh, truck up. Wanted to kind of just show it to you in the daylight. You can see the uh, brush guard and then the, uh, the cheap little um, fog lights. Um, aftermarket lights whatever you want to call them so I got those done um, these are currently the um, high beam bulbs um, I did put in the new a um, little bit brighter um, Sullivan or Sylvania or whatever you want to call them here you can see here these are the regular you can see they're it's a much brighter it's like a more of a deeper white than the uh, pale yellow so I got those on So, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I got, these back tires are basically bald. Um, this side's actually the better of the two. But I'm going to see if I can get some, actually, this one's the better of the two. The other side's really bad. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can get some tires for it. And uh, see, uh, see what we can go with um, there. 
Um, but I'm really happy with it. You can see. Sits pretty good. I um, don't really have too much else I'd like to do to it. Um, just obviously clean up this window here. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm just going to kind of leave it here and just do kind of a walk around. Not really talking, that way you can see it. So uh, have a good one guys and uh, please like, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next video.